welcome to another episode of Stuart Drinks Beer. I'm back again with a beer, a glass, and a snack. And I am back after a long hiatus. How am I? I'm good. I am good. Where have I been? In the house, like everybody else over the last year. What a shocker of a year. Who would have thunk it? Bars are closed, restaurants are closed, breweries are closing up shop, but Brewdog still pumping out the beers. So let's get into this one. So this one is Brewdog's Mallow Laser Quest, a marshmallow and pineapple hazy IPA. I mean, to be honest with you, it sounds disgusting, but let's give it a try. So. We stand for a better beer, fiercely defiant and independent, and the world's only carbon negative beer. So on the tasting notes in this one, we have pineapple, sweet and marshmallow. And the hops are Anthium and Citra. Just check. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's what it says on the back. And there is your front label. So let's uh, not pay too much attention to the jargon on the back and look at the ABV. So we're talking 6%, which is a relatively strong beer. So let's give this one a little try. Now my thoughts have changed on BrewDog over the last year due to someone very significant in my life. Um, who lives from around that area? Brewdog? Yeah. You all taste the same to me now. So hopefully this one has a little bit more kick, a little bit more flavour, and a little bit something else rather than that generic Brewdog taste that you get. So let's have a little look. Very, very hazy very hazy indeed. Good head on it, good thick head. Looks like a early morning pee after a very heavy night out. Let's get the smell. Hmm. Not picking up any marshmallow. A little hint of pineapple. Not as much as I would have expected. I would have expected a lot more from something that is predominantly marshmallow and pineapple. But... It just smells like a really strong IPA. It smells okay though. It smells okay. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Well, was I? Yeah, probably. This the pineapple, it comes through, and then there's a sweetness. But I wouldn't say marshmallow. No. What is that? It's a flump. Flump and pineapple. Is it good? Is it? It's not bad. It's 6%. It doesn't drink like a 6% beer. That's all. Which is which is the standard chat for uh, Brewdog. They really do make a good um, high ABV beer. But there's just... The brew dog taste. This is why I have a little bit of an issue with brew dog right now. Every beer has a has a top note of whatever it says on the tin. So, for example, marshmallow and pineapple, or or this one, flumps and pineapple. 
Gosh, I do my earth, it's really nice. And then there. The taste of every single brew dog ever made. Which is disappointing. I wish they would I don't know, I don't know. Is it uh is it hops? Is it the hops they use? Is it the base beer they use? I don't know. Everything tastes the same to me. I still quite like it. Do you know what I really miss? I miss going to the Brewdog Bar. I miss the chat. I miss their pizzas because they're phenomenal. I miss sampling all the other local breweries that they've got on their special taps. I just miss, I miss the pub. I miss the pub. Anyway, we shall, um, we shall avoid the COVID chat for today. Uh, do I like it? Yeah, I can get behind that. I can get behind it. So, the snack today, we have King's Ribeye Flavour Extra Tender and Soft Biltong made with British and Irish beef. There it is there. Uh, 65 grams in the pack. Uh, made with 100% British and Irish beef. So ribeye flavour, so I'm assuming it's not cut so ribeye then. It's just beef. Fair enough. Let's give it a try. Well, get quite a lot in it. <laughs> Have they tried a ribeye in their life? Oh, that stinks. But, everything does when you first open it, really. So there's a big chunk of beef. Looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Mm -hmm. Reading the back as I go. Sugar, spice. Dried red pepper, onion, yeast, yeast, um, cider vinegar, smoke flavourings, and preservatives. Do you know what? That's not bad. Again, though, I'll go back to my original point with the smell. How, how's that ribeye flavour? It just tastes. It's meaty, it tastes nice, it's spicy, a little bit spicy. But ribeye flavour, nah. Overall it's good for you. 25 grams of protein per pack, less than 1.5 saturated per pack. That's always good. But will it go with the flump and pineapple beer? Let's give it a shot. What? Strangely it does. That's improved that beer a lot. Which was a little bit unexpected. Hmm. Yeah. That works. So, how has everybody been coping with the lockdowns, the misinformation, the nonsense on Facebook. Yeah, it's rubbish, eh? Um, I'm hoping to do a lot more of these videos. Um, I'm hoping to bring in some wine, maybe some whiskies, maybe some random alcoholic drinks that I found in shops. Also looking to do some, some cooking. And maybe even some baking, who knows, who knows. But uh, I want to try and start this back up again, as I miss it, I really do. And I'm going to think of more videos. And I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to top up my drink. 
and we shall see you in the next episode. Cheers. Thank you.